you know, we get a lot of retro-inspired games that come out. Not just, you know, the graphics, but games that, uh, they'll be inspired by maybe a game that came out 30 years ago on the NES or on the Super Nintendo or something, right? Games that are similar to, like, Mega Man or Super Mario, stuff like that. They're very heavily inspired by. Today, I want to talk about a game that, holy crap, I, I don't know how to say this, but this game Iron Meat from Retroware. This game doesn't come out for a month. It comes out September, September 26 for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, PC. It, it comes out for freaking everything. It's called Iron Meat. This game, I, I got a review code and I... I was just going to give it like a pass or play type thing if you've watched my channel for a while. Occasionally I'll do that. I'll play a game for like 10 minutes and be like, hey, you know, this game sucks. I'm, I'll never play it again. Or like, hey, this game really sucked me in. I I'm going to continue playing it, you know, off camera or maybe I'll live stream it. You know, just kind of give my impressions type of thing. But sometimes, you know, that's all I need. It's like 10 minutes to decide if I'm going to continue playing. But this game, this game just, I couldn't do that. It, it went above and beyond that type of, you know, treatment. It didn't deserve a pass or play. It, it really just pulled me in. This game is heavily inspired by Contra. I, I mean, I'm sure that's the direction they were going here. But Retroware, these guys, they, they, they've done a few games. Um, I, I think I've done videos on a couple of them. Prison City was a freaking amazing one. Uh, they've also, well, I don't think the game's out yet, but Toxic Crusaders. Uh, they had a demo up. Seemed pretty cool. Looking forward to that one. And then that, that other game, the Transylvania Adventure of Simon Quest. I, I don't know. Yeah, that, that one seems interesting. We'll have to wait and see. But Iron Meat, that's what we're talking about. This game, I, 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 I said on Twitter after I played this, I was like, this, this game, it's heavily inspired by Contra. And my first impression after completing the game was... This game was better than any Contra game I've ever played. That's a bold freaking statement. Why would I say such a thing? I mean, am I gonna stick to, to that claim? I, I have to, I have to. You may not agree with it after seeing what you're seeing or maybe after playing it, but I'm sticking to that. I've played plenty of Contra games. The original OG Contra on the NES, you know, Contra on the Super Nintendo, on the Sega Genesis. And then some of the newer ones, you know what, some of the newer ones, they, they drop the ball. When the original companies that own these IPs, they revisit them, a lot of times they drop the ball. And it's just like, hey, sometimes we have to have these independent developers take the reins and actually do some good you know, stuff, right? And that's, that's what happened here. Iron Meat, it's not, I hate the term spiritual successor, and that's, I've not heard anybody say that with this game. I hate that term, so don't, don't use it, and I'm not gonna use it. But this game really does feel contra. I don't know what the story is. I didn't pay, I, like these types of retro games, I don't pay attention to the damn story. There's some machines, and they're like meaty. They got blood coursing through their freaking, you know, motors or something. I don't know, there's even houses that have, there's buildings that got meat going on. There's machines. There's houses, there's buildings, there's all sorts of shit that's got meat going on, and you're fighting machines. I don't know, there's like an army of, of meaty machines, iron meat. I don't know the story, I, I don't know. Like these retro games where you're just running and gunning, I'm not paying attention to the story, but there's a story, there's some bad stuff going on, and you're fighting these guys. But yeah, heavily inspired by Contra, and it just feels so freaking good playing this game. So. You can pick up weapons that are obviously very similar to what was in OG Contra games, but the, the one thing with this is uh, you can pick up two different weapons. There's tons of weapons, right? But you can pick up two different weapons at a time. Now, say you get like a spread shot type thing and you pick up the same thing again. It like kind of powers it up. But like I said, you could have two different weapons at once and you hit, I, I, I gotta look at my controller. Like, I don't know if you're like me where like, I, I know the, the button layout. I played this on the Switch. I know the button layout, but sometimes I gotta look at my controller to tell you what the button is. But like the R button, right? Not the R2, but the, the shoulder button, like the R button. L and R, 
you press that to switch between like one and two, the one and two weapon. So you could swap between two different weapons that you pick up. Depending on which slot you have, you're using, if you pick up a different weapon, it'll just replace it, right? So I found like if you die, whatever weapon you are using, you lose that. So if you see, if like another weapon drops and you don't want to replace the weapon that's in your hand, swap it real quick. So, I, you know, so there's some strategy with that. Or if you know like, oh man, I have an awesome ass weapon and I don't like, I don't want to die and lose it when I fight this boss that's coming up or like there's a bunch of craziness going on. Let me swap the weapons to this crappy weapon. Like, you know, just swap them, right? And then the other thing, like the R2 or L2, the, the shoulder buttons, if you hold that, then you can uh, stand still in place and aim and shoot, which does come in handy. You are running and gunning. So like in the stage, you may not use that a ton. There will be certain spots where it does come in handy through the stage, but where it really comes in handy is some bosses. And then some stages, maybe the, uh, there'll be stages where you're, you're going up instead of from left and right you're going from bottom to top you know you're climbing up a, a building or something jumping up platforms there might be something above you where you know you might need to be shooting straight up so you'll hold the shoulder button or maybe something's coming at you from below so you'll you know hold the shoulder button and jump up and shoot down you know that kind of thing so yeah there'll, there'll be instances but i think you use it more with certain bosses and you, you know what with this game holy crap every every stage i think how many how many stages were there was like nine levels so every stage i was like this game the level the levels can't get any crazier the bosses can't get any crazier at every stage that i progressed to every boss it just everything was getting more and more nuts more like the stages the animations the backgrounds i, I was like i i can appreciate the art I can appreciate the animations. This stuff was blowing me away. Like just in game, seeing all this stuff, there's like little animated sequence in the beginning of the game, which is okay, like whatever. But seeing that sprite work and all the, the animations in the game, the enemies, the gore, the blood, the craziness, the death from your, your character getting sliced in half and things blowing up and all the, the things going on in the backgrounds. It was freaking nuts. This game is crazy, dude. Now some of the, like, there's nothing, I can't even think of anything bad to say about this game. It's not a long game, and I wouldn't expect it to be. It's a, a very retro-inspired game. Like, if you play on easy, you know, maybe an hour. If you play on normal, you know, around this, you know, probably around the same, I guess. It's about an hour game. There's multiple difficulties. There's unlockables. You can unlock different skins, characters, and stuff like that. I don't think it really changes anything with the game but there, there's some replayability like i would recommend play it on easy um you know maybe start out on normal i i don't know and then jump to easy i i played it on both uh, and played through it at first i played on normal a bit and then i jumped to easy beat it on easy and then i jumped to normal and beat it on normal i, I played through it a couple times and I, I just i had a blast this game like i said i can't there's nothing i could really say negative so you can you can uh, change a few video options and audio options, nothing nuts with this. Like you have like scanline filter, retro filter, which I don't really like. So I guess that's something negative. It's not really negative, it doesn't affect anything. But I, I don't like I don't like retro filters. That's just a personal thing. I don't like that. But then you could put like retro music. And that's kind of cool, but I like just the standard music that they had in the game. So you have a couple little options with that. Unlockables, this game is badass. Go to freaking, um, what is the website? Ironmeat.com. You can get a free poster. It's not really free. I actually bought the, the bundle that they have. It's zero dollars. You, you can get an Iron Meat poster. It's double-sided. It's got like, I think on the other side, it's got like some enemy stuff. But all, all the games that they have, they have like a four pack of posters that you can get for free. You have to pay for shipping though. So it's really not free, dude. I think it was like eight bucks for the four poster pack, but I was like, I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll give them the, but you know, they gave me the, the game for review, but there is a physical copy. I think through strictly limited games, I, I'm contemplating. This game was badass, dude. This game was badass. Like these these guys, they nailed it. Whoever made this game, y'all nailed it. I know RetroWare, they put it out, but this game is badass. Check it out, dude, for S Switch freaking 
uh, Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, Epic, GOG, September 25th or 26th, somewhere around that date. Thanks for watching. <laughs>